an Australian woman who spent 20 years in prison for killing her four children was pardoned and released on Monday following an inquest into her guilt. Kathleen Folbig, now 55, was dubbed Australia's worst serial killer after being convicted in 2003 of murdering three of her children and convicted of manslaughter in the death of the fourth. According to prosecutors, her children, aged between nine weeks and three years, had been suffocated to death by Folbig, who has always rejected these accusations, claiming that each of their deaths was linked to a natural cause. A pardon on the grounds of reasonable doubt was seen as the quickest way to secure her release from prison, a subsequent inquiry could see her convictions quashed completely. Kathleen Folbig spent her two decades in prison being demonized. Once the most reviled name in Australia, Folbig has been cleared thanks in part to a Spanish scientist Carola Garcia Vinuesa, who, along with other colleagues, has managed to show the children could have died of natural causes. Folbig is very grateful, not only to us, the scientists, but also to her lawyers, who have done most of the work for free, she adds. The first to die was her son Caleb, aged 19 days. One night, Kathleen woke up because she needed to go to the toilet. She checked on her baby and realized he wasn't breathing. There's something wrong with my baby, she shrieked. Her husband came running, and they tried to resuscitate the child, but by the time the ambulance arrived he was dead. After this she lost Patrick when the baby was just 8 months old. 10-month-old Sarah and 18-month-old Laura died later. Two of the children had died of sudden infant death syndrome. The trauma was huge so Folbig and her husband's relationship deteriorated and the couple decided to get a divorce. Years later, her former husband found Folbig's personal diary. Some of the lines his ex-wife had written set alarm bells ringing, like when she wrote that her daughter Sarah had gone away with a little help. He was so shocked he gave the diaries to the police. Although there was no evidence against her, at the time, there was a lot of weight put placed on the Meadows Law theory about sudden infant deaths, which has now been discredited. British pediatrician Roy Meadow believed that one sudden death is a tragedy, two are suspicious and three is considered murder until proven otherwise.